All right, family. This your girl, Mary Lee. This is how I ended up in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper when I was six years old back in 1973. Because my so-called oldest sister, Linda, and I did a little video yesterday when I found her uh, name in concrete, right? Now, I told you, they copy everything that I do. So some told me to get this damn paper. It used to be a quarter, now it's a fucking dollar. And you ain't got much, much to it. Now it says, Wednesday, December 26, 2018, 41 degrees. That's when I got railroaded in 2008 at the age of 41. Keep that in mind. Second immigrant child from Guatemala dies in U.S. custody. Then it says, pro character school Walmart heirs jump into local Merrill automatic contest. And then this is supposed to be by Lynn Sweet, page 6 7. Now I was born in 1967. And then it got Bears O knees strong game before playoff. Okay? See, it's all about the game and nothing else. You come out here, you better watch yourself. Because you can wear what you want, even blue or red. But cross the wrong sisters and end up dead. Because they got game bangers that are sisters. You understand what I'm saying? And I believe Linda Nelson, my so-called light bright, damn near white, you know, sister, oldest sister at that, supposedly, was a game banger. And maybe even Oprah Winfrey. You see the O? So... You know, what happened was, Doors closing. in 1984, I sent Oprah Winfrey my child abuse story. Welcome aboard. Red line you understand what I'm saying? 12. And... Cermak Chinatown is next. In the direction of travel, doors... After sending her my story Cermak from Chinatown. my so-called sister house, Linda Same Nelson... Please do not lean against you know, she sent me a little copy of her, um, Please you know, heading. And, uh, you know, her signature saying she'd get back to me. But that was in 1984. And then 1985, the color purple came out, right? You understand what I'm saying? See, I called my sister, Linda Nelson, and Oprah Winfrey sea devils. Because they are. They sea devils. That was 1984 I sent that goddamn story. Nigga, it's 2018 now, depending on what lie they telling. It could be 2017. Either fucking way, nigga. It's been a long damn time, and I ain't seen my motherfucking goddamn open win for yet. You know, niggas done packed up, got grown, moved on, and left me on this motherfucking railroad to get killed, I guess. So I said back in the day, I believe all my motherfucking pictures are turning black and white because that's what's happening. The black and white people are getting together and killing out the Native Americans. Something I am, a Native American. You understand what I'm saying? That was raped by some motherfucking Africans and some goddamn crackers. Let's just put the shit out in the open and get it over with, nigga. I mean, the paper don't fucking lie, nigga. I mean, y'all wrote this shit. I ain't write this shit. So this is the reason why they put me, you know, in the Sun-Times newspaper in 1973. Because I stood up and I told my so-called caseworker that I was being abused. And they put it in the goddamn paper so motherfuckers can keep an eye on me because they knew one day I was be, gonna be special, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? For real. So stop trying to kill me. Because if you kill me, you kill yourself, nigga. Because once you rape me, I became one of you motherfuckers. It's called scientific evidence, you dumbass motherfuckers. For real. You do the math, motherfucker. Shit, DNA don't lie, motherfucker. I'm a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and the rest came from rapists like you. I mean, let's just tell the truth, motherfucker. For real. I ain't saying all this shit to be saying it. Real motherfucker talk. So Oprah Winfrey and my sister, you know, kick rocks, motherfucker, for real. Stop drinking this shit, and you, you too could be, you know, somebody. Motherfucker. Y'all better be glad I showed up for this dumbass shit, for real. The one for me, you motherfuckers will be dead. And if I die, guess what my legacy is? We all fucking die. You understand what I'm saying? Now he mentioned the time 912. I wrote a goddamn uh, 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 a poem 
that said when 9 11 hit, I wrote it on 9 12. You understand what I'm saying? It's called Who Can I Blame, nigga? You motherfuckers, that's who. Otherwise, I would have, you know, wrote it on the day it happened, 9 11. I usually do shit ASAP. But my higher power said, no, 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 do it the next day. Because these motherfuckers got to be crazy. They think you're going to take the heat for the shit they pull. Come on now. Work with me. What's up? We in it to win it or we going to all fucking lose? Except you know who. <laughs> I already think you know. Got to go.